the Toy Man, the channel where we take vintage toys and compare them with their more modern reproductions or counterparts. This episode, I'm taking a look at the Star Wars Stormtrooper action figure. So here on the left, I have the original Kenner Star Wars Stormtrooper. It was released in the original Star Wars line in 1978 and was available all the way up until the end of the line in 1985. It has, count them, four whole points of articulation, just at the shoulders and the hips. No neck articulation. It comes equipped with a good representation of the Stormtrooper's blaster. And that's about all I have to say for the Stormtrooper. Here, on the right, is the Star Wars Galaxy Adventure Stormtrooper. This Stormtrooper was released in 2019 in conjunction with the Galaxy Adventures web series. Uh, this mold has been used for other recent Stormtrooper releases. This series of figures are packaged in these plastic tubes that you can see here. In addition to the blaster, it comes with this little comic here. Something strange about the comic that you can see is that it is bound with a piece of string or thread. The figure itself has seven points of articulation at the neck, shoulders, wrists, and hips. The original Stormtrooper retailed for $2 in 1978. That comes out to approximately $8 in 2019. A loose figure with the blaster, you can expect to pay around $30 to $40 online. A carded example is, com is a completely different beast. Since this figure came out on so many different cards, you can get away with one for around $300 into the thousands of dollars, depending on the card and the condition. The Galaxy of Adventure Stormtrooper retails for $12 and is available now. However, online they're going for around $20, I'm assuming for the army building community. So my thoughts on these figures. So the original is the original. It's a classic and it is pretty important in the overall scheme of action figures. However, I feel that Kenner kind of cheaped out by not providing an articulating neck. The Galaxy Adventure Stormtrooper is overpriced. A standard Star Wars figure costs $8 these days. So what am I getting for $4 more? In my opinion, not much. I can watch the webisodes for Galaxy Adventures online whenever I please. And I don't have to keep up with a comic. Also, not a real big fan of the tube package. I would rather have a card personally. On to the figure itself. It's good. It looks good. Um, if there is one thing that I would take away from it, it's that I don't like five point of articulation figures that have joints molded into a position to achieve a specific stance like this one. How it has its elbows bent to kind of keep the blaster pointing down like it's marching along the corridors. If I'm getting a five point of articulation figure, I'd rather see it in the traditional at attention stance with mineral bend to the joints. So what are your thoughts? Do you have any toys that you'd like to see me compare? Please mention it in the comments below. Do you have any action figures that you have army belt with? Check out Toy Matt on social media, maybe buy a t-shirt to show your support. The links are in the description below. And please join me next time when I take two toys and have them take it to the Toy Matt.